Today, we're racing our first AK of the season, and it is gonna be on literally one of the hardest courses we have ever run. And I am not joking. Look at some of these hills we're gonna be racing on towards the end of the video. What do you think of the course? Not good. Wait, what are your goals? Sub 32, it's kind of pathetic, Ooh. but I have been sick the last two weeks. So guys, this is my chance now to finally beat Jacob. This is so wet. My feet are already soaked. So guys, we ran a course preview here two days ago. Did the whole course. 480 feet of elevation change in an 8K. JP, how you feel? Uh, not great. We were working till three and then had a few drinks until like 4.30. <laughs> He didn't made up an injury so he doesn't have to run. Is he scared of Jarrett no, or scared you? Of me, of <laughs> he doesn't want to lose, so he twisted his ankle. Aiden, it seems like you're walking pretty fine right there. <laughs> oh. I had a workout yesterday, bro. Man did a workout. Uh, dang, great. dang, yeah, I don't know. I am scared. <laughs> scared of Jarrett. <laughs> What's up? What's up, guys? Make sure to like and subscribe. What are your thoughts on Aiden's injury? He was scared and he, he took the easy way out. What can we expect today? 23.50. How about sub 4.30 first mile? Sub 4.20. An actual mile <laughs> <laughs> Joe is rocking the orange shorts. I'm rocking the orange shorts. It's the best look out there. Yeah, what are the expectations today? Big check up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ultimate showdown of whose diet is better. Joe, what's your diet? Vegetables, carrots, broccoli, chicken. This guy no eats uh, ice cake, cake. <laughs> donuts. We're like 40 minutes out of this race, about to warm up. 10 minute warm up, super slow. Run no hills, hopefully, because we're gonna be running a lot of those. Let's get it, baby. Oh. So this man's a hater of the look. Pounds. That's the yeah. dumbest race outfit I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, comment below what you think of Jacob's race uniform. It's all hate is encouraged. Yo, let's Just go! Right, let's go! Guys, slow course today, it's a little bit wet. You guys gotta subscribe to the channel, press that bell, drop a like. <laughs> and, drop a comment. And, and, Peace. And with that, it was time to head to the start line and get ready to race. This AK might be the slowest AK I've ever ran, and that includes my freshman year when I was incredibly out of shape. The goal is place. The goal is not time. I'm just going to go out there and race hard. Wait, I still have my shirt on. I'll be right back. What's your famous quote about beating Tyler? I might not have had a great race, but at least I beat Tyler Spears. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if we hear that again today. So then we hit some strides and then started to huddle up for our hype up. Uh, Jed, you ready? I might puke during this race. Who's going to fall first again? Me. <laughs> My buddy is on Jared, honestly. If I come through halfway through the race and Jared's flat on the ground, no surprise. Just, now Tyler, everyone else here is wearing maroon. Um, going with the black. I think the black looks actually. clean. <laughs> black with the orange shorts and the green spikes. It doesn't get much better. Let's go! Loki! Let's go! Loki! All right, boys, this is it. First AK of the season. It's going to be horrible. We're going to die, but we're going to have a good time doing it. See you guys out there. So here we go, AK season debut on the hardest course we've ever run. Let's get into it. Runner set. So guys, I know I've referenced this literally a thousand times, but this course is so difficult and I was legitimately scared going into this race. Luckily, the first mile was extremely downhill, so we were able to ease into it a little bit. So my first mile ended up being 528, which was super fast. If I held that, it would have been a fantastic race. And here come Jared and Harris a little bit after the mile, holding it down for tech up top. And then we also have this group of guys, our three through six, Wyatt, Alec, Evan, and then eventually Garrett. Those guys are in a different group. And then eventually I come along heading into this big loop. I was feeling great at this point. That 5.30, it felt like nothing. I'm actually ahead of Jacob, which is rare because I go out slow. Joe's behind Jacob too. Obviously, the cookie cake diet helps Jacob. And JP, off two hours of sleep, is absolutely killing it. So based on how I was feeling at this time, I was actually thinking I could have a shot at pr in this race. Jared and Harris go by right there, super far up there. Big gap, and then the three through six guys all sticking together in a pack. And then another 
big gap. But this is where things get super interesting because at this point, at like the 3K or so, I am actually our seventh runner for the team, which was super shocking. Jemiah just behind, and then Jacob and Thomas trying to chase us down from the back. So you might be like, Tyler, I thought you said this was the hardest course you have ever run. And that is true. But the first 3K was downhill or flat. And coming up here, we are about to have to run some serious hills. Just look at what we had to crest here. I am fighting with everything I've got. Luckily, running in Blacksburg does give you a lot of hill training. Chimaya is hurting on the hills. Jacob and Thomas still cranking, still giving me a little bit of a fright. And this next shot here, this is at the 6K. So we only have two kilometers left, just a little over a mile. And see that hill in the background. We had to run that hill twice in this race, which shows how difficult it really is. It was super nice to run down it right here, but running up it twice, especially at the very end of the race, was deadly. And now Thomas has passed me. I can already hear it in my mind. At least I beat Tyler Spears, but I'm going to try and make that not happen. Here's the big thing. Speed it up a little bit because look how far back Jacob is. That's right, guys. For once in my life, I am beating Jacob in a cross-country race. It doesn't happen often, so we gotta savor this. Now let's get back to the front of the action where Harris is absolutely killing it. Jared is right behind. Of course, Aiden sat out this one because of, I don't know, some ankle injury even though he worked out the day before. Wyatt and Alec have really closed the gap though on those top two. I'm still sticking tight with Chinmaya, trying to keep him close. And now here we go guys, final K of the race. Harris takes a wrong turn, but he is absolutely cruising. And this is when we have to kick. We still have that massive hill to run one more time. And I know I was dreading it so much. The whole time I was running this little loop here, all I could think about was going back up that hill and just thinking about all that pain that I was about to be in for the last kilometer of the race. We can kind of see the shakeout now between our seven and nine runners. Jinmaya has gapped me and Thomas. Thomas is a great hill runner, but on the flat stuff, he's not doing quite as well. Now I'm starting to close in on Thomas, and guys, I want to beat Thomas. So after beating the massive hill one more time, this is with 400 meters to go, and this course has one last trick to play on us. <laughs> Look at this hill. Just a pointless hill with 400 meters to go where we have to kick up. And my legs were hurting at this point. I am dying, but I know we are so close to the finish. And I just need to push it for a little bit. There goes Jacob up it. I have Jacob if I can just hang on. And now here we go to the finish shots. So Harris is going to take it from start to finish in first place. Coming in with a time of 27.35, which shows you how slow this course is. I mean, 27.35 for our number one runner to win the entire meet is super slow. This man ran sub 16 just two weeks ago on a cross course and now he's barely breaking 28. Insane. But Jared gets third, Alec fourth, Evan fifth, all super solid times. So they're all going to be under 28, which is pretty good for this course. And now finally, the moment you guys have been waiting for, Thomas and Shinmaya throwing it down. I'm in the background there, so I'm going to lose to both Thomas and Shinmaya, unfortunately. And I'm rounding the curve here, and I'm looking at the clock, and I'm like, just don't let me see 30 minutes. Let me see a 29. So I see 29.35, and I'm like, thank the Lord we broke 30. I'm going to end up running 29.42, which is solid on this course. And of course, I'm going to beat Jacob, which is an added bonus. Fantastic time for those conditions. Here's two more videos to watch. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.